Today on the SPS in Nuremberg, I want to show you something about our new um, holder system, our sensor gate, uh, WA130 and 131. Here you can see we have a complete family of pH holders, where you have a long immersion depth. I can show you. This is climatically operated. And here in the lower part, you can see that we have got um, peak material filled with carbon fiber. The carbon fiber and the peak material together are having a tightness which is almost uh, aluminum. And so we have a very high um, chemical resistance against um, high temperatures and against high or very low pH values. Here we have a short version, as you can see, which can be placed in pipes, for example. This is a complete stainless steel version with an ingold coupling. And uh, on this side up here, we can connect it directly at one point to the Unical 9000 system, which is a fully automatic system and will give you the possibility to fully optimize uh, the calibration or the cleaning of a pH system in place without um, interrupting the process. A new pH holder, which we have not shown so far, is our WA131. This one is a manual version. We have one where we can operate it with a security lock. We just unlock it and then it takes just two complete turns to bring it into the process or on the other hand two complete turns to bring it out of the process. And here also we have got both lengths, both immersion depths and we have got the possibility to bring them to you in stainless steel material or also in peak or PVDF or Kyna um, in this material versions. Take it apart. This is the calibration chamber. You can see here that we have got both inlet and outlet on the side. The bayonet will give you easily the possibility to replace the immersion tube. So now if we connect it in this area, we have got a peak version of the immersion tube which will have a far higher chemical resistance than the stainless steel version. And as we are used to at Knick, we also have the calibration chamber which is also sometimes in contact with the medium in the same material. So when you connect it here, We have completely rebuilt a stainless steel version now to um, a peak version and we can also bring it back into service position and do calibration or do cleaning of the sensor itself. This is completely new and will operate up to 10 bars and 140 degrees Celsius which has never been reached before. And this is possible because we have got very high performance materials here in the top and we have a five-threaded screw inside here which will make it easy to operate it even at higher process pressures.